HIV. I know it's been a while since I've communicated, but frankly, I've been at a loss for words. It finally occurred to me the other day why I've been bothered by you. I don't like being rude, but sometimes there is no other way than through directness. You are the type of acquaintance that shows up at a party, often uninvited, and doesn't know when to leave. Just as I was coming into my own, accepting my sexuality and firming up my identity, here you come. I was just barely out of high school and basic training, setting out on my own and enjoying my newfound adult freedom, when you started rearing your ugly head. Just a few years after coming to grips with my sexual identity, in the aftermath of the vitriol being spewed by Anita Bryant and her hate-induced madness in Florida, you hit the scene. At the time, called GRID, gay-related immune deficiency, gay-related, sleeping through San Francisco and New York, no known cause, and a host of previously unheard of illnesses literally plaguing the very community that I was just becoming comfortable in. Rare cancers, pneumonias that would kill in literally weeks, previously healthy young men, many not much older than I, wasting away became the norm. AIDS, fear, anxiety, guilt, anger, remorse, all seemed to feed the societal and religious condemnation of me and my kind. It seemed inevitable. Get this thing, die of AIDS. And then you show up to the party, my party, hanging out with my friends and, yes, lovers. The rumors of how you were spread started to give way to the reality that you and your devious ways crashed our most intimate of relations. My dislike of you grew even stronger. I remember the roll call of close friends and intimate friends who you seem to have a fondness for, Tom, Bob. Michael, Richard, the funerals I was asked to officiate for, Carlos, Nick, and Rob. The list grew too large and too painful. Sadness, loss, anxiety, wonder, when. Then it gave way to, why hasn't it? It seemed inevitable. The frequent tests, the scare simply because one caught a cold or flu, or because one sweat in one's sleep. If Terry Young Show live on AIDS. This is one of the people I had filmed at the Terry Young Show that full blown AIDS. This is the Terry Young Show coming to you live. Thank you and have a good day. The Terry Young Show can be seen at www.terrylanny.com.